Look at that beautiful structure. And I'm not talking about the house. I know that you knew that was coming. But I will say I like those cedar shutters. I got that. Yeah, they got the uh, shutters up. And the rest of that's finished. I guess you girls are playing Queen of the Hill. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I think it's the first time we've introduced our new dog on the camera, huh? What's his name? <laughs> Timber!
looks like these roosted bowls up in here. Oh, we got two up in here. And you can see I'm using like a two by six uh, brace or bracket. If in fact you can see that, maybe look better on this side. Yeah. The good thing is these are, I put it like this, so they're, they are removable. Just move them out and clean them. Need to. Need to cut one more. Get it right length. Feel like a chicken getting out of the coop.
off. All right, so the reason I'm taking this wheel off, <clears throat> which by the way, I don't think this wheel has been off, gosh, I didn't even tell how long. This mug ain't been off in probably since the, this thing was new. Took a little bit, thank God for WD-40. Did get it off, and this mug needs a little bit of, everything's working good. Probably just do a little bit of greasing on the wheels. Um, but no, I took it off because right here in this corrugated metal, this salvage tin that I got from my brother, Hank, shout out. It's, um, you can see here, I couldn't reach it with the wheel there. I couldn't reach to, uh, to screw this in real good. And I don't want no critters getting in. So I'm gonna um, tighten this down and just put the wheel back on. I'm looking to put this um, jack on for this trailer jack on this chicken coop and got this one from Lowe's it didn't really have the one I was looking for but this hopefully works um, I'm gonna have to do some engineering here probably and too bad I don't have a welder So this uh, jack is totally not designed for this trailer, so it's jacked up, no pun intended. Well, there was a pun intended, but yeah, so I, I got that that bracket, that angle iron I talked about, and that's, that's working out good as far as giving it a, a wide base, because there's nothing there, as you can see, nothing, because angle. So I angle it the opposite direction, that's working good. I don't have any tools for me any grinder um which i gotta be careful with the grinder because i did that with the grinder five stitches later but um if i had a grinder or something i could i could do some work i just don't have that i don't have any cutting torch um sawzall or nothing here but if i cut this in half and just use half of it for this portion the other half on this side because i don't know if you can tell the jacks a little bit crooked because of this because it's not sitting flush like this portion right here is hitting the solid iron this portion down here it's got like a divot it's got like a void so and it won't set it won't set in, in this curve in this valley so if i had another bracket i could put it right here on the bottom i could push this bottom out and more level um, I don't have anything. I do have this over here from old workbench I got from my uncle, which is not designed to be a workbench. I don't know what it's designed for. I think it's a, maybe a tobacco stringer or something. I don't know. But anyway, I'm using it as a workbench right now. And there is a whole angle iron hanging off here. But again, I don't have any cutting instrument. I could take that piece off. If I can break it off, I'll try I could probably utilize that over here. Just again, just redneck engineering this thing.